This is the library. It's my favorite place because I skip here all the time. And because she doesn't read. <laughs> I read all the time. Bitch, smart does not count. <laughs> Where will you be in 10 years? In 10 years, I hope to have finished my career and I have, well, I'm gonna be honest, I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna study, but when I figure it out, I hope to end up finishing it. What was your best memory of the last year? Um, the amount of times that I've skipped with my friends and that we almost got caught and had to run away. <laughs> Literally sprinting, I'm not, a person who does a lot of sprinting. <laughs> who was the most memorable teacher that you you have ever had and why? My most memorable teacher is probably my fourth period teacher because he literally makes everyone's life a living hell and then wonders why no one likes him. And it's like maybe no one likes you because you literally torture everybody with your monotonous voice. Fucking like idiot. <laughs> what was the most memorable moment that happened in this class? Um. I'm gonna be real honest. I don't remember much. But I do know that all the times that Greg or Scahill or any of those people have cracked a joke. Those were real memorable. What was the best film movie video that we saw in this class? My favorite film was The Impossible, mostly because I had never seen it before, and it was a really good movie about like perseverance and and you know keep moving forward and all that shit. So yeah, that was good. What was the one thing that you, you remember that Scahill said or did this year? <laughs> uh, I remember Scahill, when Scahill started calling uh, Diego Daigo. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. Um, I remember that and it made me laugh every time he says it. It's so funny. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? Uh, people are fake as shit. <laughs> that's, that's what I learned. Most definitely. Is there anyone in AH, AH, AHS you would like to thank? Who and why? I'd like to thank my seventh period teacher because she's really, really funny and... She helped me out a lot, and we're practically friends at this point, so shout out to her. She's the real one. Uh, how would you want to be remembered? I would want to be remembered as someone, like, funny and caring and someone who, like, really, really cared about other people and tried to, like, make their day better and shit like that. <laughs> That's pretty much it, I mean. It is September 22nd, I think, um, and it is 2016. I'm making this in my room where I do my makeup in the corner, <laughs> the best lighting. Um, I am in my 11th grade. Wow, my 11th grade. I'm in 11th grade, my junior year. School so far is... A lot but easy a lot but easy like I don't know like they give you a lot of work but it's just easy stuff so my favorite song right now anything that is not playing on the radio in all honesty um you and me uh, Featuring G Easy. That's actually it's the one song that I could probably listen to forever. Um, what's the most mem mem no memorable thing that has happened to you? 
Nothing. Um, I have a 3.2 GPA. That's the most exciting thing that's happened for me right now. Because I've never had that high of a GPA. Um, <laughs> what am I looking forward to this year? Homecoming and prom. It's my boyfriend's senior year and he's never been to homecoming, so I'm making him go. And I'm gonna be looking so good, and he's gonna be looking so good. We're just gonna slay at prom. Prom! Well, we're gonna slay at prom too, but homecoming. Most definitely. Hardest thing about this year? Deciding on choices. I'm going to be 17 next year, and that's when, you know, I get a job. Well, I'm supposed to be getting a job now, but, um, I mean, I'm supposed to be getting a job. I'm supposed to be deciding what college I want to go to or, you know, a variety of colleges I want to go to. Just, the hardest thing is deciding my future right now. And I'm only a junior, but still, you got a plan. Because I know I'm not even going to be thinking about it senior year to, like, later. So... What advice would I give myself? It'll be okay. Whatever is happening, you'll be okay. These are just things you learn from and it, it will all work out in the end. I promise you. What has made me really laugh? <laughs> Um, hmm, I don't know, I mean, I saw some, oh, in the library, they have the automatic door, and people always try to close it, and I think that's so funny, because they have, like, they walk out, and then they stop, because they didn't hear or feel the door close, so then they try to close it, and I think that's hilarious. Because their facial expression it was like they did something wrong, so they freak out. Okay, yeah, that's it. Well, it's my last video diary, and it's um, wow, I I really don't even know the date today. It's like the twenty third. It's a okay, so it's May twenty third, um, two thousand seventeen. And, well, the first question is standing in Memorial Place, but I will do that later. Um, where, will, where will you be in 10 years? Hopefully not dead. I, I honestly, let's see, what's 10 years? 27. I hope to be married or engaged, um, have a stable job. If I am married, then have at least one either a kid on the way or already have one maybe like a year old or something like that you know with the love of my life like ever goes dream um what was your best memory of the last year i don't know i didn't like anybody um i really don't like it oh okay so i don't know it's kind of one big all memories but when i sit in the library on my seventh period, I was with these seniors, and I don't know, we just all became really good friends, and since they're graduating tomorrow, it's like, I'm more upset about them graduating than I am about my boyfriend, like, we just had so many good memories that it's so hard to just pick one. I guess one is the one point where we would just laugh straight for 20 minutes, and it was just like that nice connection of just you know, being with people that you can laugh like that with. Anyway, okay, so before I start crying, who was the most memorable teacher that you ever, you, Scahill, yeah, because you're so real and upfront and you say it how it is and you definitely, like, understand it, except the, bref the Breakfast Club, you don't quite understand why teens are like that, but exactly how we are. It, yeah, so, I don't know, you just, you understand 
and it's, it's just nice to have a teacher that doesn't like you know bitch at you all the time saying oh you're young and you don't understand okay it's you just you make it less stressful on us that's why i'm taking your class next year i mean senior year i'm gonna stress the hell out okay um what was the most memorable thing that happened in this class oh lord jesus who knows um <laughs> definitely when you call diego daigo because i call him daigo now because i just think it's so funny because i'm definitely probably gonna name my kid diego just so i can call him daigo and he's going to grow up his whole life thinking that his name is pronounced Daigo. Oh my god. That's the best thing ever. I just actually just came up with that like on the spot right now. That Oh my god. What was the best film movie, blah blah blah, you saw in this class? Sybil. Because that has to do with what I want to go into. And I want to be a cognitive psychologist. I want to study you know, schizophrenia and what caused it and why her mind, you know, basically the whole thing of the story. That is what I want to do. So that interested me the most. Definitely. I was so intrigued by that. And so, moving on. What's one thing you remember that Scale said or did this year? Daigo. <laughs> that is, I mean, you said a lot of things. I guess when I first showed you, when I showed you my first video diary, and at the end I started crying, saying that, you know, my, my advice to myself was that it's going to be okay, and that it's going to be over, and nothing's permanent, and you said to keep that, you know, that I'm going to, I'm going to use it, at, well, you know, that's going to help me at some point, and I don't know why, I just, I just remember you saying that, nothing else, just die go in that, so... I don't know. You've had a, a big impact on me. Even though I'm quiet in your class and I make faces, but... What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? There are some dumb people. Like some common sense. I mean, I, everyone knows that. But I didn't know it could go to such an, such an extreme. Like... Just people irritate me in the school. I just don't get it. There's I, I would tell you a memory of like how stupid people but there's just so many. So many. Like yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Alright, so is there anyone at AHS you would like to thank who and why? Thank you. Thank you. You are an amazing teacher, and it's gonna suck when you're not here anymore. Like, I'm, I, usually things screw me over the year before, like all the good teachers leave before I have the chance to get them, and then I'm stuck with a new, you know, but I had the chance to be in your class and learn from you, and you're an amazing teacher. You belong in a high school. And it's gonna be, I'm gonna be really sad when I hear you, you're leaving, because my sister's probably, I'm gonna make my sister take your class. She's not as bad as I am, I don't think, anyway. Um, but you're just, you're an amazing, you're an amazing man, Scahill. You're, you're hilarious, and you make my day. How do you want to be remembered? I don't know, I'm small. I, you can't really be remembered for anything big. Um, I don't know. I really don't. I. How do you. Um. I guess as a girl that everyone tells their secrets to. It's this. Com it's just this thing. People will talk to me, and all of a sudden, I know that they killed somebody back in 2004, and someone else was charged with it, and they don't feel guilty. Like, people just tell me their secrets. I don't tell anybody. I just. And I don't ask for them to tell me. They just tell you, you want to know this? Sure. It's just a thing. I don't understand. But, you know, whatever. Oh. Huh. Yeah, no, I'm not filming it in two different, three different, no. Okay, this is not happening. Um, I'm on this side of the camera. I'm on this side of the camera. And now I'm in the middle. There's your three points.
Okay, so this is gonna be number one, my video, my video diary. I'm doing this in the middle of class. So she has a class right now, but what I'm doing is my favorite teacher or like spot in the school that means something to me is gonna be Miss Townsend's room. Um, I had her for biology and for my PBS um, principles of biomedical science last year. And she kinda, oh my God, my stretcher's right there. Hold on, we're walking back. Um, and she is like the thing that has mean something to me and like or is important to me at the school because she one made a ton of memories in that class last year and she put a decent group of friends that I still have to this day together and I'm super thankful for that because they have made an impact on me in multiple ways um, and um, I know it's supposed to be like at the spot in the class whatever but she has a class right now so i'm not going to do my video diary in there but i'm going to take a picture with everybody so that makes it fair okay this is in my first place that like means something to me so number two where will you be in 10 years i wish i could see that to be able to tell you that but um fingers crossed i'll be somewhere in the medical field don't know where but that's the road that I'm heading and trying to get there. My main goal is to be doing something that I enjoy each day because it's not work if you enjoy it. And of course I wanna see the world, but if not, I might be at a strip club. If it doesn't, there's too many speed bumps. We might just, I could be a bartender, whatever. Uh, number three, what it, what was your best memory of the last year? For sure. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't pick one. Homecoming was pretty fun this year. That's a good memory. But. I don't know. Skate Hill's class. Was pretty good. But there's so many little memories. This is asking for just one. We'll say homecoming. Who uh, Number four. Who was the most memorable? memorable memorable teacher that you've ever had and why definitely you stay hill um as said in past video diaries you're just like the most genuine and like you don't hide anything you're just straight up you're like a legit actual person not an ocps teacher and your class is enjoyable so you make it you make it enjoyable and that's super cool but gonna stop this part because the next three I'm gonna do in a different video or an urn like in a different in a different spot this is a really bad angle but okay so our next spot is here and it's the vehicle and we're stopped like I'm not doing this and driving okay um num where am I starting at five what was the most memorable moment that happened in this class um and I said scale I said your class so Yikes, there's a decent, pretty good couple things, but to sum it up, I think I'll have to say, it's not necessarily something I guess that happened, but just the fact that how you do your whole, like when people aren't listening or like you've repeated it six times when they're still asking questions, you do the whole like me, talk, like a thing that's really funny, that could brighten your spirits. Um, and the people, the people, the people, that's pretty, that's great. Um, Yeah, that was, was pretty good. What was the best film movie video that we saw in this class? I wrote a couple down. Jaws, for sure, I really enjoyed because I've never actually finished the movie. Um, Sybil has became one of my definite top, like, five favorite movies now. Field of Dreams was really good. Um, the, I finished... What was it called? Um, Forrest Gump for the first time in your class, and that has definitely moved its rank up um I never I've seen like three-fourths of it I never even knew that he had a kid till like two weeks ago I've never finished the movie so that was pretty awesome number seven what is one thing you remember that Scahill said or did oh well I wrote the same thing kind of that I did for five um the interrupting and making fun of people thing is it's great that has to be my awesome that's awesome little thing um, in the next three, I'm going to do another place. I don't know where yet, but 
That's what we're gonna do. Bye. And for the last three, for this, wow, last video diary of this year. Um, okay. Basically, I'm in my room, but I'm in a different spot in my room. It's not that big, but it is a different spot that kind of means something different to me. So that's why I'm doing it. And it's because it's 11.39 on the night before this is due. So, mm hmm And I just got home from work. I'm going to do the last three questions now. <laughs> Um, number eight, what is one major thing you learned that you did not learn in the classroom? For sure that having your own back, this is going to sound corny, but having your own back is the only thing you need because, and not necessarily the only thing you need, but that that's how it's going to end up at the end of the road. There isn't going to be anybody else. Um, so you just have to, from day one, always have yourself and have your back and realize that, you know, having other people and friends and people that you trust is cool, but 3.7 out of 4 of the time, they have a better offer somewhere where they don't care about you. They don't care about you or anything you do, and no matter how long you guys have been close or your family or, you know, whatever, they could still careless and if they have a better offer or something else that they sorry that's more interesting to them and has their focus they don't care about you um yeah that was way into depth but nine is there anyone at HSU you would like to thank who and why <sighs> yes there is two uh, two people one of them what am I trying Sorry, I'm trying to get my other videos that I have on here sent to my phone to show you. Um, first one would have to be you for sure, Skay Hill. Um, I say you because, like I've said multiple times in multiple different videos, is that you're just a real hearted, you know, you're straight up. You, there's no... There's no fakeness to you. There's no, I'm going to try to impress one person, you know, versus you. Um, minus the fact that you're older than us and, you know, you're not trying to impress everybody in this generation. But um, I really appreciate kind of your your deep down truth and stuff is really needed sometimes. Um, also, you can always do something that can bring someone's spirits up. Whether if you're the one that was being a sarcastic ass to piss them off in the first place, you can make it up and it's, I, I just kind of, I don't know, I, re I really enjoy you. And I joined this year's scale, so I appreciate that. Um, another one is Miss Townsend, which she was the one that did, I did my first place in the most memorable, whatever. Um, and kind of like I summed it up then is that she brought a, a lot of good memories and a good part of my life um together and she brought the group of I would I would consider them friends you know but we're not all super close but I really enjoy the times and memories that I have with those people so that's a big plus because those are ones that I'll be able to tell my kids about later on um and 10 how do you want to be remembered um This is like what everybody else in these video diaries is going to say. But I would hope that I am someone that could benefit you in one, in some sort of way. Um, somehow at some point in time, I hope that I'm someone that you considered, you know, an all around. I don't have to be your best friend, but oh, I remember her. You know, she was super cool. Oh, we had a fun time together doing this, you know, or... Just someone that I, I don't know, I, this is hard. Um, I hope I'm someone that always stayed true to my, my thoughts and my, you know, beliefs and what I think is right and what I think is wrong. That I'd never change and swap those around to try it for someone, you know, or whatever. Which I don't think I do. I've learned the hard way about that. But I guess I would probably sum it up. Not like everybody else. Not necessarily a rebel or anything, but just not like, oh yeah, she did that, you know. 
that was a horrible example, but all in all, that finishes the final questions. Uh, once again, yeah, I want to thank you, Skeho, for just, I had a really good year time this year. And I'm really freaking emotional right now, and I think it's because I'm about to get my period, or I'm overly exhausted. And tomorrow's graduation. Me at graduation. Do you see the... Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, um, what date is it? It's May 23rd, and I'm at the, the memorial place at Apaka High School to tell, and I'm gonna tell you why it is. Um, it's when they, <laughs> they Ali, um, she was d drink the soda, yeah, and it was um, shaking up, and it got all over her clothes and stuff. It was funny. Okay, and then where will you be in 10 years? In 10 years, I'm 17 right now, so I think I'm gonna be married out of college. Probably about to have a kid. <laughs> I don't know. And what is your best memory of the last year? Of last year? Um, I was in NJYC and my memorable was being at FAMU. That was really fun. Who was the most memorable teacher that you had ever had and why? Um, my memorial teacher is, has to be, it's in Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, because that's where I came from. And her name was, um, I forgot her name, Miss Smith. And it was in first grade, and we had the both, she was a white lady, old white lady, and um, elderly, I mean. And um, she, she um, gave me candy all the time and helped me with my work and stuff. She was really nice. And we celebrated our birthdays when we were little. Because <laughs> we had the same birthdays. Um, what was the most memorable moment that had happened in this class? I think in your class, Mr. Scahill, it was when... Um, well, I was in the sixth period, and I would just stop. Hey, Mr. Scahill. Um, I'm at... It's the third place I'm in, um, the 529 hallway. And this is the classroom where my um, favorite teacher was, um, most memorable teacher. I had so far, I had a lot of good teachers, but um, one was one last year. I got her um, when I first came to the school. Came here like late sophomore year. And um, she was a marine science teacher. She told me and my brother that we weren't supposed to be in marine science. We we're actually supposed to be in biology. But um, it, they were testing, and you know how the Orange County does about testing the money. Um, yeah. So we were supposed to be in biology, but we were in marine science, and obviously we got an A in it. But hey, um, uh, it was annoying. But um, school's annoying. Um, the school is very annoying. Um, they kind of messed up my schedule. Um, she's the most memorable teacher, right? We, I kind of related to her. Um, me and my brother being from the Midwest, Milwaukee, and um, her being from um, Indiana, um, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Indiana's next to Chicago, and Chicago's next to Milwaukee, and Milwaukee's in Wisconsin, and it's our way to Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. And that's where a lot of my family are and stuff. And I could relate to her. She knew about the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. And I represent the Midwest, everything Midwest. And um, and having also having, like, Southern, we just related. And she was black. And she did track and everything. And we did the track, too. And then we tried to get an education. And she went to um, a university. And in the university, she did a lot of stuff. And I kind of looked up to her. And the music she listened to, I, I knew about because that's what I grew up to being um black culture and stuff in this used to be a room and as you can see right now um I, the bi bi randomly the biology biology teacher i have right now is miss soto for biology honors when i should have had it last year but that's another reason that's whatever about that i'm forgetting about that that's the past i'm in the present and it's going into the future and as you can see Miss Soto, she's a Puerto Rican teacher. I love her. She's so nice. I love. She's such a good teacher, um, sweet as can be. Um, she um, is in this class, 
and guess what where I'm at her right now but she's not here she left at um right after teacher work day for the first like month of school and she never came back and I'm like oh. but she was such a good teacher I loved her and we related to her track wise and she was a person you know I could talk to and stuff so I really looked up to her so wherever she's at um a shout out to Miss Taylor Sheila Taylor so yeah um that's pretty much it you said a memorable teacher I gave it to you the most memorable teacher right now and it's pretty good and also you Mrs. Cahill <laughs> you're such a good teacher now um I'm about to end this video okay the best film need put this I'm sorry Mrs. Cahill okay the best film, movie, video slash video we watched in the class would, would have to be Forrest Gump. I love that movie. I, I would say that's like top two in my category of all famous, my fa most famous movies. Um, what was the best? Okay, what is the one thing you remember that Skate said or did in the class? Um, you, I have to think about this. I mean, this is kind of at the last minute. Um, you call it Diego Daigo. That was funny, Diego. That was funny. Um, what else? Um, I don't. Uh, uh, just laughing. Your laugh is very unique. It's funny. Um, <laughs> what is the one? Okay. What is the one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? Uh, um, I didn't learn in the classroom. Would have to be sex. <laughs> 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 I, I I got that from my stepmom. She taught me about that, but I didn't learn that in a classroom when I should have. But and how a condom works, I didn't learn that from the classroom. So on to the next question. Um, if there anyone at is there anyone at HSS you would like to thank? Who I um I would say it's a lot of teachers. A lot of teachers helped me and let me turn in late stuff, including you, Mr. Scahill. So I, um, shout out to all the teachers who helped me do that. And um, Mr. Scahill, Mr. Madam Carter, Ms. Soto. Okay, Ms. Soto. A lot of people be extra right now in this background, but anyway, Ms. Soto. Who else do I have? Ms. Green. A whole nine of Cedra. If I didn't name you, I'm sorry. I, I just can't remember that this time. How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a um, Christian, a believer in Christ, who is a good girl, a young girl, black and beautiful, 17 year girl, trying to get her education, trying to make things happen and change for the better in this world, and also to preach the gospel. And just a nice person, and loves to smile, and loves music, and just talented and unique in her ways. And no one can ever be a Tila like I can be a Tila guy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, we're in a courtyard right now. So yeah, thank you. Bye. Hey, what's up? Um. This is the first 10 questions of this video that I think, so future me, you already know what it is. I hope you got a girlfriend right now because you lonely as fuck at, at the moment, so. But first off, let's, let's just get start, started off. What is the date you are filming this on? I'm filming this on on September 15th. Where are you making this video? In our bedroom, as you can see. Our blankets and our bed and the mirror with the hat on it. Remember that. What grade are you in? We are 10th grade sophomore. How is school so far? School's going pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It is going well. What is your favorite song right now? Favorite song? What song would, is, would I consider my favorite and will look up in the future? Huh. I had to say, uh... Damn, that's actually, that's actually quite difficult. Um, if I was to choose a favorite song right now, it had to be No Love from Eminem and Mid Little Way. No Love, remember that. What is the most memorable thing that has happened to you in the first weeks of school? Uh, it hasn't been much too memorable, but 
if this to be the most memorable thing so far. So we have a really terrible second period teacher, and like, we were, we were just going off in her class. Like, I don't, I don't know, Miss Van Bethesda, if you if you remember that, remember that name too. Um, Miss Van Bethesda, uh, she she be tripping, bruh. So our class, we would just usually just start like just arguing with her for no reason, just to get her angry, and like, and then she she's just really petty and. It was torture, bro, but it, it was hilarious. It, it was hilarious. It was quite hilarious. So, I mean, what is going to be the hardest thing about this year from August 2016 to May 2017? Uh, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say probably keeping up my grades. Because that, that's probably the hardest thing you're supposed to do all year. That's the point of school. <laughs> Just to keep up your grades, so that would probably be the most difficult thing. Um, what are you most looking forward to this year? I don't, I don't really know. I'm looking forward to um, some athletics, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that with the curriculum I have. But I'm, I'm most forward to looking to like some like track or men's volleyball or some shit. What advice would you give yourself right now to get you through this year? Um, don't trust these hoes. Because, um, hoes are fake. They hoes, so you already know, like, if you, if you get a hoe, bruh, they, she probably not your hoe either. She probably got another, she probably got another man too, so don't trust those hoes. Just, just fuck those hoes. Like, not, not, not fuck them. Like, <laughs> no, no, not like that, bruh. Not like that, bruh. Don't, just don't fuck with them. That, that's, that's how I should have said it. Um. Oh, and just letting you know, future self, we have not watched the. We, we do not watch porn back then, and we never masturbated. So if you're doing that in the future. You're lonelier than I am. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm gonna be so disappointed in you. All right, what what has made you really laugh in the last few weeks? Well, it's the same thing. This is the same thing as my most memorable moment, um, when we were just constantly like just roasting our teacher and getting her angry in second in second period and just like just just. Destroying her existence. I don't think she, I don't think she lived after that. But I'm so sick right now. But that was the last question, and um, I guess I guess that's it. You feel? All right. Well, I'm done. And uh, peace. <laughs> hey, we are back. We are back for the second time. Take tackling down another ten questions. How is the school year going so far? Now that we are in the second nine weeks, school school year is going pretty well. I, it's it's going pretty good. Like, I got I got good grades. Um, I don't fuck with them hoes yet, and never. I. I made a mistake. I don't fuck with those hoes at all. Not not yet. At all. Because we don't do that. We don't do that. And yeah, it's just overall great. What, who is the most memorable, good or bad teacher so far? And why? It probably have to be, um... Probably um, my first period teacher, Mr. Sabo, for good, because um, her class is really chill. So we we barely do it. We we work, but we barely do anything, and it's it's just a really fun class. Um, what is your favorite Halloween memory? All right, so when I was a bit younger, down in Kissimmee, um, we I, I was trick or treating, of course. And then we got to this one house. We rang the 
there's something on the floor in the garage, but I thought it was just a decoration. So I went, I, just, I went to that wall. I went back. So I went to read the doorbell. No one opened. So I was like, oh, no one's here. So I just, I just left. Like as I was leaving the driveway where the prop was, it got up and started chasing us. So you know, I'm black. So I ran out of there. I, I, like I should have, I should have wore a Sonic costume because I was going that fast, bro. Shit, I probably was like Goku in his instant transmission. Shit, bro. I was going super Sonic speed. All right. Where have you gone for Thanksgiving in the past? Home. We 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 are the house for Thanksgiving. We the plug. Like we 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 wear all the food at. Cause my mother's a great cooker. So so we're 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 the place where everyone goes to. What what did your family eat for? Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, ham. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But for um, I got that is um yeah like. Uh, mashed potatoes, potato salad, chicken, ham, uh, stuffing, and a lot more stuff, but I don't remember, but that, that's basically the general basis of what I eat. And there's like a lot more, it would take too long to list out, this video would probably be like a year long if I was to mention everything. Alright. What is your favorite Christmas memory? Favorite Christmas memory? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that guy's... <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sick during the taking of this video. So, I might sneeze. <coughs> we saw that dab though. That dab was lit as fuck. Alright. Alright, uh, favorite Christmas memory, it would probably have to be getting my PlayStation 4, that would probably be the best Christmas memory, just getting gifts because we don't really go nowhere with Christmas, people usually come to us, so it's the same, same thing as Thanksgiving, so, yeah. Alright, I'm still saying, bro, well, why am I always sick when I gotta take these? Alright. What is the best gift you have ever gotten for Christmas up to now? Probably my PlayStation 4 because, um... Because I don't really remember my other gifts. Honestly? Usually I just get a game console, like, every year. Like, like I get the Xbox 360 for Christmas. I got the Wii for Christmas. I, I just get game... I just get gaming consoles for Christmas, usually. And sometimes not even Christmas. Sometimes because sometimes in February, because you know that's when tax returns are. So tax return is my Christmas. Uh, if you could have anything in the world, what would it be? Anything in the world, what would for Christmas? What would it be? It would probably. Be anything. I actually, cause it's not. It's not what's on the outside. It's the, it's it's what's it's what's the thought of it. It's the thought, like not not the thoughts, but the thought. Cause you don't fuck with thoughts or hoes. That's the main key about this. No thoughts or hoes. It's the th it's the thought of the gift. So I I I don't actually accept anything, because. It would take them time. Maybe it didn't even take them time. They'd be like, oh, I'm just going to get him. But you still got me something. I'm not going to deny that. I'll, I'll take that. You mean? I'll take that. Unless it's a hoe. If you send me a hoe in a box, I'm going to have to send that shit back. Because you just ruined my whole motto. We don't fuck with hoes. So make sh I'll take anything but a hoe in a box. Or a thought in the box. Or a whore in the box. Or anything that has to do with that in the box. Never shall I ever do that. If you could give anything in the world for Christmas, what would it be and who would you give it to? Uh. Huh. 
I'd probably give shoes shoes to my brothers because so you know it's just a brotherly love you trying to try to make your brothers look fresh and shit they try to make me look fresh and shit so it's just gonna, it's just brotherly love I don't give them give my brothers some stuff for what what they done for me because they they my niggas they my bro, they're my brothers and oh shoot I I forgot about this Ooh, this might take a while then. Pick one of your favorite songs for your past with the song playing, lip sync, or lip dub the song for about a minute. You can go longer, but you need a minimum of a minute. It can be a song from anywhere all the way up to yesterday. Have fun with this and be an idiot. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta sign in. I forgot, I, I honestly forgot about this. I should, I should have read. Alright. So I'm about, to, I'm about to bring up YouTube's but I'm so so sick, bro. This is gonna be terrible. I don't. What song do I want? Huh? Oh, maybe. Maybe I know a song to do. A song to go with our motto: "Don't fuck with these hoes." Hey, 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 hey. I'll Oh, no, that's an ad, that's an ad. Hold on, let me get the lyrics. Just just for just for safety reasons, you feel? Oh shit, this already eight minutes? Alright, hold up. <laughs> nah, this is not the song. I mean this is the part of it, but this is not the part. You know this one. I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. You look, you look dumb ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. I got a million strange things I'd rather fucking do. And to be fucking with you. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. You already know. Peace. Hey, it's your boy. We back. We back here again. You already, you already know. So let's get into the third week's question, baby. All right. All right. All right. What's my plan for spring break? Well, you see. <laughs> well, you see. I'm actually a really boring person. I'm actually really boring. Uh, all I'm probably gonna do for this spring break is just chill at home, play video games, and watch TV and eat. Cause, like, you may not see it. You may not think I eat a lot, but I'm a fat fucker. All right. Two. Have you had any conflicts with the teacher? No, I have not. I'm I'm actually a really good student. Like. All A's. I'm a like my conduct. My conduct is amazing, bruh. Amazing. People wish people wish they could be as good as me. Teachers wish they could have multiple me's. Smart and pay attention. I don't mess with teachers, so if you don't fuck with the teachers, 
they don't fuck with you. Key, key to success. All right. Have I lost or gained any friends? Well, you see, I never had any friends to begin with. Number four, no, I'm just fucking with you. Um, Honestly, I don't, I don't really mess with people. I probably cut more people off. I, I think I lost way more friends. Yeah, I lost way more people. I, I don't consider some people my friends. I, just, I consider them acquaintances or people I know in the moment. So there's that. So, But I'd say probably lose. I probably lost some friends, you know. Um, if you can switch out at any class, which one? My sixth period theater cinema film. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, Skate Hill. I'm just fucking with you, Skate Hill. I know you're watching this. But nah, um, if I was to switch out at N class, probably my team sports. Team sports, because I didn't do shit in there. Like, legit, all we do is stand. We just, that's all we do, just stand and. I get an A for it, so I mean, it's still, it's, it's it can be fun some days, but just don't do shit in there. So like, I'll switch out of that class maybe for maybe for another thing like weightlifting or some shit. Cause you can see I need them, I need them gains, bro. I need them gains. All right. What is the oldest photo on my phone? My oldest photo, on my phone is a wallpaper. Like my or my um my iPhone background paper wallpaper or whatever because um as soon as I got this phone like I don't really like I was like I need to put a let me, let me put a picture under there so I but that's probably not interesting so the second one is prob is a meme pe called Pepe the Frog if you future me if you see this I don't remember Pepe the Frog they're probably still gonna have his meme over there but so just Pepe the Frog that's all I gotta say it's a meme. Um, next question. What are my thoughts on a presidential election? <laughs> That's my thoughts. But this shit was rigged. Rigged. Because, like, first off, I'm disappointed in Florida. Like, how the fuck you vote for Trump? I, I really... There's so many Spanish in here. I thought they're like, oh, he's gonna deport us all. Let me let let let's vote for Hillary. Like I would have preferred Hillary be voted, but I guess what what can I do? I can't stop that. So it was that's kind of some bullshit, though. It really is. I I, I do not approve of this. Biggest regrets. You see, to go through life, you can't have any regrets. I don't regret anything because. I've just been, i never done anything to be regretful of. So like, that's probably, that's probably that. If I die right now, how would I be remembered? I'd probably be remembered as an OG or a pimp. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Um, I, I'd be remembered as um, King, first off, they gonna, I'm gonna put my model under my name, so they'll be like, so like in history class, they'll be like, there was a black, uh, Jamaican, Af Jamaican, no, not Jamaican, African, Jamaican American man, named Wong. He was a fucking G. He goes by his slogan, "Don't fuck with these hoes." His slogan has helped many ma male species not fuck with hoes and find the run for their life. He contributed to history by telling people not to fuck with hoes. And these hoes are not having kids anymore. And these hoes are not getting the dende. The dende. The dende. See, you have to add an echo in there just to, just for extra spice. Extra spice. All right. Um, describe the school year on one song. Hmm. It's kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to say, Fuck this shit, I'm out. Uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. No, no, no. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'm gonna just pack my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright. Or. Or. 
or for the teachers for some teachers you know that's not i don't fuck with you you little you little dumb ass bitch i ain't fucking with you so those those are just two songs and um remember don't fuck with these hoes that's don't i'm about to spit some bars for the last don't fuck with these hoes because you know hoes aren't before bros they put you on the low but you saying where are you at though sucking on her toes up oh, what what huh i didn't say that shit you heard you you didn't hear me say that i didn't say that you, you probably, probably someone else but uh, let me let me so um, anyways let me continue to rap all right all right well now we're on the second question after yet after i stood in my most memorable place so all right where will you be we're back in my room probably the most memorable place because this is this is where i'm always at this is where i play games where i do homework where i sleep so like the room is probably like one of the most like meaningful place to me like who isn't so all right where will i be in 10 years in 10 years all right so i have two more years of a pop cut so that means eight years well i'm planning on becoming a doctor so eight years into the future i'm gonna almost be done with college so, or not college, university, whatever, whatever, to, to get my doctorate degree. So, cause I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be helping those people out. You know, you know, like those Grey's Anatomy shows and shit. I'm gonna be like, they're gonna be saying, Doctor Hamilton, come into the room with Doctor McCook. And I'll be like, I'll be like, what's wrong with this patient? Everything. Don't worry, I got this. Like I'm, if maybe um, if you're watching this, maybe I'm your doctor. So, so, yeah. What was your best memory of the last year? Best memory of the last year? Last year as in this whole year? Or last year, 2016, like first, first to second quarter? I'm a, I do not know what you mean. But I think... I think you mean though just this whole year. Um, best memory last year. This year was Zach. Honestly, this um, this is kind of boring. I really don't have it. It was just working at home. But best memory last year, I'd have to say um, going down to Miami. Like we we visited many places. Um, we had a comp. I got I got my new car. The Camaro, hey, that shit clean, that shit clean. I can show you a photo, or you probably already have a photo, or you have the in future one. No, already knows he has that car. So the Camaro, the Camaro is pretty clean. That's probably like best memories of the last year since I got that. And we drove down all the way to Miami to like Fort Lauderdale. We were just everywhere down in the south side of Florida, and it was just a really fun time. It was really lit, and. Uh, it was probably the only thing that is memorable that I did last year because mostly I was in your just homework and games. That's probably all I did last year besides go out. Alright. I'll fill this question here too. Alright. Who was the most memorable teacher that you have ever had and why? Well, most most memorable teacher. I'm about to bring her up again, Miss Van Benthysen, because um, because um, she's not memorable for a good reason. She's not. She's memorable for a bad reason. Because what's it called? Like in my past video diary, I'm pretty sure I have stated that. We are terrible in her class. Or, well, not we. I'm like, excluding them because I'm always a good child. 
Um, but besides me, besides me and a couple other three, everyone else is so terrible to her. And then like, there's days that she just finally snapped and like, you know those teachers. I'm pretty sure you know those teachers. Like, do you have, I had it with you kids. You all never treat me right. I should get y'all all F's. I should get y'all all tests. I said, ooh, that was bars. You heard that shit? All F's. All tests. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I was feeling myself a little bit. My bad, my bad. But anyways, um, that's exactly what, um, that's the only reason why. She just, she just finally snapped and, like, she snapped so many times at the end of the year. One of this one student kept on disrespecting her, get kicked, and got kicked out of the class. She wasn't even part of the class. She would go to class, disrespect, get kicked out. That's she was just that was just fun. But it was the end of the year, so it was all right, you know. Um, and I think I'm done filming here. All right, see you in the next video. Okay. Um, I'm filming this on. September 8, 2016, in my room. I'm a junior this year. School so far is normal, simple, boring. It's school. What is your favorite song? I don't really have a favorite song, and um, yeah, it's whatever. What is the most memorable thing that has happened to you in the first year of school? Um, nothing really. I don't really talk to a lot of people. I'm like one of those quiet persons, like you can say. Um, what are you most looking forward to this year? From okay, um, joining clubs, getting good grades, um, maintaining a high GPA average, and like um, being successful this year. Um, what is going to be the hardest thing about this year? Probably. Um, scoring high on the SAT and ACT because it's good for college and stuff and yeah what advice would you give yourself right now to get you through this year um do not slack off not that I do anyways um just in case it happens um, getting good attendance, which is like a main thing, like a main one. Um, what has made you really laugh in the last few weeks? Um, nothing really. Gayhu says pretty random stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, oh, and I forgot to say one thing about what are what am I looking forward to this year? It's like taking this off this right here because like it's about that time been like it's oh more than two years now so yeah bye okay. how is the school year going so far now that we're in the second nine weeks the same normal who is the most memorable good or bad teacher so far i will say my math teacher not because she's bad or mean or anything. It's just that I'm failing math. And I actually like math. I don't know what's happening. What is your favorite Halloween memory? I don't celebrate Halloween. But there was this time when I was like seven. I actually went my first Halloween trick-or-treating. And there was this scary house. And then a man popped out. And then I started running. And then I like... Did a backflip. Yeah. Okay. Where have you gone for Thanksgiving in the past? Uh, nowhere. I usually just stay home, clean the house, and go Black Friday shopping. What does your family eat for Thanksgiving? Um, sometimes they do turkey or like a cookout and, uh, or like, well, yeah, that's everything. What is your favorite Christmas memory? Uh, good Christmas were back when, uh, like when I was like little, 
before like I turned 10 they were still good it was like pretty big we invited a lot of people we used to do a lot of like big dinners and stuff and a lot of um, secret Santa with a lot of people but we stopped doing that so what is the best gift you have ever gotten for Christmas up to now um well I'm not sure but when I was eight years old I always wanted an, like an iPod and I got it and yeah I was so happy at that time if you could have anything don't worry about money in the world for Christmas what would it be uh I would like we lived back to the Christmas parties we used to have when I was like younger with my family and yeah if you could give anything in the world for Christmas what would it be and who would you give it to um probably happiness to people who are alone and yeah okay let me do this other part uh, I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it, every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction, my faith is shaken, but I, I gotta keep trying. memorable place because I've never been here when it's so empty and it, the view is really nice. In 10 years hopefully I will be working at a hospital as a nurse and the best memory of last year uh, was coming to football games. Okay, um, I'm filming this in my room, which is one of my favorite places where nobody can bother me and stuff. Who was the most memorable teacher that you have ever had and why? Um, I'll go back to elementary because um, her name was Miss Cooper and she's the only one that really connected with my parents and like really talked to my parents and stuff. And yeah. Uh, what was the most memorable moment that happened in this class? I'm not sure. Honestly, there's a lot of things. Every time, a lot of, like, every second, there's something happening. I don't even know. I can't keep up with it. What was the best film, movie, video that we saw in this class? It would be Law & Order because um, it made me watch more episodes, and I really liked it. It was entertaining. What is one thing you remember that Skate Hill said or did this year? Um, I'm not sure he does a lot of stuff, so um, I'm not sure. But, yeah. He's funny. Okay, so I'm at the gym. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? That would be to never give up and to always try your hardest. Is there anyone at AHS you would like to thank who and why? Uh, my guidance, because she always helped me. Uh, getting into door enrollment and stuff and my last year guidance didn't so yeah how do you want to re be remembered um, as a nice person who is
try the hardest to achieve your goals. Okay. So, what are your plans for spring break 2017? Uh, I sort of want to go to the zoo, like the zip line thingy, but I'm, I think I'm just going to stay home and sleep. Um, have you had any conflicts with your teachers? If so, who, why, and what happened? Um, no, because I'm nice. From the beginning of the year, have you lost or gained any friends? No, the same old friends. If you could switch out of any class right now, which class would it be and why? Uh, algebra 2 because it's messing up my grade. Let's see. What is the oldest photo on your phone? Uh, who is it or what is it and why have you kept it? So the oldest photo is this one, which is my brother, me, and my godmother or from my uh, brother's baptized and I kept it to keep a memory of her and okay so invite your favorite person to be in your video diary so this is her <laughs> hello I, I invited her because yeah she's like my only friend in school <laughs> <laughs> My only friend too. Uh, what are your thoughts on the presidential election and the final results? I, I'm like kind of afraid for my family, but it is what it is. Mm, what is your biggest regret so far this school year? Uh, I signed up for the ACT many times, but I still need SAT. If you died right now, how would you want to be remembered? A nice person? If you could describe your school year in one song, what would the song be? Uh, Don't Wake Me Up by Chris Brown, because I like waking up early. <laughs>
That's the only reason I like I can I'm probably gonna remember her because she was like really annoying. <clears throat> and then I'll do the other questions in a different area. These are my uh, questions, my four, five, and six questions that I'm filming. No, five, six, and seven. What was the most memorable moment you, that you had in class? Um, I don't really know. It's probably when he, when Mr. Skate Hill played around, he said that hope, that like, he said like, he's gonna do something, and he says he's gonna go to New York. Like he always, oh, when he like, he says he's gonna visit New York in the summer. So, that's something. That's my question for number five. The best film. That we saw in class would probably have to be, in my opinion, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. That was a pretty good movie, which I liked. And what is one thing you remember that Scale said or did this year? The one, he, I remember he'll always say that he's going to take your phone and take it to Goodwill and pawn it for money. That's all. But those are, are my eyes. Those are my five, six, and seven questions. These, this is my final questions. Or that's eight, nine, and ten. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in your classroom? Probably, I learned to be like a little bit more selfish, like because at the end of the day, like when I get out of high school, like I'm probably not for like seventy-five of people. I'm probably not going to even like talk to anymore. So that's probably one major thing, and like I, don't, I can't, I'm like the only one that can control my decisions. So that's basically. I just learned to be more selfish. Is there anyone you I think? I think probably all my teachers because even though there was some idea, like they helped me like learn new things this year, and how would I want to be? In my personal opinion, I really don't care about being remembered. Like. It's just that not important to me. So that's one thing that I really don't care. But if I did want to be around, I'd rather be around. Uh, probably, I would like help. Like, I think I was very helpful to people that I basically, so basically, I'm just helpful. Like, I'm just, I'm just normal help. Like, that's all I normally with this. And those are my final questions for the school, for the fourth night weeks. The date I'm filming this on is December 5th, where I'm making this video, in Mr. Skatehill's room. I'm in 10th grade, how school so far, school is really good so far, good friends, good grades, pretty good. My favorite song right now is probably All Time Low by John Bellion. The most memorable thing that has happened to me in the first weeks of school is um, just making new friends, um, making new friends, people aren't my friends anymore, just certain things like that. What I'm most looking forward to this year is, um, probably just making myself a better person and just getting maybe a girlfriend and new friends. The hardest thing about this year from August to May 2017 is probably probably keeping up my grades in football. The advice I would give myself right now to get me through the year is just to keep my grades up, keep my head high, and don't stress out about things. And what has made me really laugh in the last few weeks, um, this, this kid tried to, <laughs> this kid just tried to, this kid tried to fight a teacher, and he pushed her, and it was not good, but it was funny, so yeah. How's the school year going so far now that you're in the second nine weeks? Um, the school year's going pretty good so far. Great friends and my grades are doing pretty good. Because I ask most of my friends their grades, it's just not good for them. So, you know, I'm pretty proud. Who's the most memorable teacher so far and why? Um, the most memorable teacher so far is probably... 
Mr. Scahill. Because he's funny and we just get to watch movies and it's great. And he adds on to it because he's funny. What is my favorite Halloween memory ever? Probably. Probably the Halloween parties I go to because they're just fun and all my friends are there and it's an annual thing so it's fun. Where have I gone for Thanksgivings in the past? Um, in the past I've gone to my grandma's and my house but my grandma passed away so... Yeah, it kind of sucks. So now we just go to my house. And this year, like, none of my family showed up. So, like, we literally had two other families just come to our house. It was, it was so, it was terrible. It wasn't so bad, but, like, when you think of Thanksgiving, you're like, okay, family. And then you just have other families come. You're like, what is this? So I literally had one person, one person from my family come. And then the rest were other family, so... That's cool. What does your family eat for Thanksgiving? We just eat normal stuff. Ham, turkey, croissants. Um, that's it. And pie. My favorite Christmas memory is probably going to North Carolina with my family. Just like my normal family, not like other cousins crap. Like... Because that's the first time I went there to North Carolina. It was fun because we stayed in a cabin by ourselves. It was just in the mountains. It was cool. Because Florida has no mountains and it's not cold and it's terrible. So that was cool. The best gift I've ever gotten for Christmas is probably... Well, I got a... I got a... Um, I got... <laughs> I got a, a early Christmas present today. On... December 4th I think it is today because my phone just literally could not turn on today it just I had an iPhone 5c it just wouldn't turn on so I had to get a new one so I got an iPhone 7 that that's pretty great it's really nice if I could have anything in the world for Christmas what would it be anything it would probably be um I'm not sure. There's so much things. If I could have anything in the world for Christmas, it would probably be... To have to not worry about money. So, I mean... Oh, that that's literally not okay. It says don't worry about money, but like... What I mean is like to pay off all my stuff... So, like, I still get a job, but, like, I just don't have to pay anything, like, bills, because that's just annoying. So, because then that would make me happy. So, technically, if I could have anything, it'd be happiness. So, yeah, happiness is a good one. If I could give anything in the world for Christmas, what would it be and who would I give it to? It would probably be to my dad, my mom, or just, like, my family in general to, um not work again and retire I mean that'd be pretty nice because they do a lot so they deserve a break and if they retire their home more which would help with my life in general so it would just be like a win-win for everyone um boom I know you want this for life Taking pictures with all my eyes But I can't have no life I just want you for the night
just for lying Fuck you so good, you be calling out the cries Bottles of the tech, got it laid on ice We spent four seasons at the four seasons twice You be calling out your hunger like I'm his wife Yeah, oh yeah, trip and reevaluate your life Can't hang on no bitch, every single hoe is trying That's a heavy sprite just to get me through the night But I need you there Alright, Chase Steiner, you already know. Alright, what are your plans for spring break? Um, not any homework because I'm really tired of school and um, I'm going to the beach. Two, have you had any conflicts with your teachers? No. Have, from the beginning of the year, have you lost or gained any friends? Why? I wouldn't say lose, but I got less close with because he's annoying. So I don't, he's annoying, so I'm not really like as close to him. Because he's annoying. Um, if you could switch out of any class right now, which class would it be and why? Probably Latin because I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's just, I hate learning another language because I'm not going to use it, so I don't care. What is the oldest photo on your phone? Who is it or what is it and why have you kept it? Um, the oldest photo on my phone is a picture of my sister because it was pretty recent because I got my, a new phone. So uh, why have I kept it? Because it's, I look good in it. Invite your favorite person to be in your video diary. Explain why they're your favorite person and have them say something. Alright, invite my favorite person in my in my video diary. This is my sister. She's my favorite person. Just say hello. Hi. Alright, bye. Alright, she's really awesome. Okay, Alright, what are your what are your thoughts on the per presidential election and the final results? Um I'd rather have Trump than Hillary, so what is your biggest regret so far the school year? Pro probably this hasn't happened yet, but I have a math test tomorrow and I'm probably gonna fail it, so probably just not paying attention in math class because I need an A in there, but I'm probably gonna get a B, but I'm probably gonna get an A. So I don't know. Probably just being lazy. Um if I died right now, how would you want to be remembered? I want to I want to be remembered as cool, outgoing, funny, mostly funny. If you could describe your school year in one song, what would this song be? Um, NASCAR by Do Up Kane because the school year is going fast, it's like a NASCAR pull up in a fast car. That's probably not the lyrics, but I don't care. All right, this is the most memorable place in high school because I hung out here every morning. Where will I be in 10 years? Hopefully, um, I'm having my own restaurant it's called Steiner's. I'm going to make waffles and stuff on a stick. It's going to be sick. What is my best memory of this year? I think that's a question, and probably scoring my first across school in my very first season. Who was the most memorable teacher that I ever had and why? Probably Skate Hill because every day there's something funny.
that he says, and like his class is never boring. And he doesn't make it boring, which it could be boring, but he, he makes it fun. What was the best film that we saw was The Impossible, where there was, su there was a tsunami, and it was about the family trying to get together. What is one thing that I remember Skato saying? Um, as they say in France, and then they'd say something stupid after, or you would, not they. What is one major thing that I learned that I did not learn in a classroom? That extras get paid for a movie, and yeah, they get paid in a movie. Is there anyone at AHS I would like to thank? No. How do I want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as outgoing and funny and athletic. in my throat has lived there for years and it makes me sing this way I set up a bed down by the stairs oh when I run downstairs I don't know how smash my head I'm gonna have to pee now but I can't believe because I'm waiting for Brianna where's that hole? this is our girl's night I sent her an e right to have a slumber party party at my house The date that I'm filming this on is on September the 22, 2016. Where am I making this video at? I'm making it in my room. What grade am I in? I'm in 10th. How is school so far? So School so far is going well. That's about it. What is your my favorite song at the moment? I really don't have any favorite songs at the moment. The most memorable thing that has happened to you in the first week of school. Mm, the first week of school. Nothing. Just, yeah, nothing. What are you most looking forward for this year? The most I'm looking for, forward for this year is just passing by, getting through, I mean getting through 10th and going to 11th. What is going to be the hardest thing about this year? The hardest thing about this year is keeping my grades up because I have like three honor classes. So that's going to be hard. What advice would I give myself right now to get through the year? The advice that I would give myself for to get through the year would be to be to stop slacking off and to pay more attention to what the teacher says and stop playing around with the computer. The things that made me laugh. Uh, Nothing. Oh. No, I don't have any. Come on. It says, question what? Stand in a memorial place at Apopka High School and tell us why it's memorial to you. This bench is <laughs> memorial <laughs> because this is where I sit every day to play games, I guess, or do homework or something. Question, <laughs> where will you be in 10 years? Doesn't matter. Where would I be? Where would I be in ten years? 
Mm, as a photographer, I guess. Finishing first, finishing college, and then after that, I'm being a photographer. What was your best memory of the last year? The best memory of the last year was. Uh, are you taking pictures? I think you're uh, I think you take pictures. Um, it says, okay. Most memorial of the last year was the beginning of the school year, I guess. Because you didn't have to worry about work or, or the last day of school. I don't, I don't know. Who was the most memorial, memorial teacher that you have ever had and why? Mm, uh, I guess. Oh. Oh, did you? Okay. Um, most memorial teacher that I've had was my sixth period, ninth grade, because I could do anything in there. What was the most memorial moment that happened in the class? Uh, when I slapped Alan across the face in ninth grade. <laughs> You're not gonna say anything about that? <laughs> What was the best film, movie, video that we saw in this class? Uh, the best movie that we saw in the class was Forrest Gump. There we go. <laughs> I, I had to. What is the one thing that you remember that Skate said or did this year? Mm. I guess when he told me that he would kick me out of class for being early. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, what is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in the classroom? Uh, I don't really know. thing that I did. I don't know. <laughs> I I really don't know like I, I didn't learn in the classroom. I guess how to tie my shoe like I don't know. Huh? What did you do here? Work? <laughs> I guess. Is there anyone else? Come to high school that you would like to thank who and why? How all, all my teachers for helping me out. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, do you want to be remembered as someone smart and shy? You can end the video now. All right. <clears throat> My name is Nathaniel Lozano, and where will I be in 10 years, done with college and doing my job, and hopefully have like my own apartment or house? What was my best memory of the last year? Finding $20 on the floor on in front of the library. <laughs> what was your best memory? Uh, what was your best memory? Most Marvel teacher I had was my science teacher, Miss Nobleza, because we had like four science teachers, and she was the one that actually stayed with us till the rest of the, like, the school year. So she's my best teacher. Um, most memorable, um, most memorable moment that happened in class is when a fight like happened in my class. Um, what well, was the best one we saw in class was Forrest Gump, because that movie. Lived up to the expectation. It was actually a really good movie. What was the best thing that Scahill said? Uh, go live under I-4. Something memorable that Scahill said. Uh, what One thing I learned that I did not learn from the classroom was to block out people's like attitude and stuff. I do not want to thank anybody. How I want to be remembered is as a nice person that didn't really get on anybody's nerves so much.
This is the most memorable spot because this is my first year. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> this is the lunchroom and it means a lot to me because I eat here. Why is the baseball field memorable for you? Because it was my first season playing at a public high school and we had a good season with the, you know, the JV squad, you know. Who was the most memorable teacher that you've had and why? Uh, Skate Hill because his class is fun as hell and he likes to make fun of me but it's so funny and he calls me Hotha, so. <laughs> what was the most memorable moment that happened in this class? When me and Diego and Greg made DNN 69 News. What was the best film slash movie that we saw in this class? Force Call. What is the one thing that you remember that Skahale said or did this year? He uh, quoted, uh, be first, you last. <laughs> what is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? About how to do film stuff, like film from like different places, a different camera angle. Is there anyone at Apopka High School you would like to thank who and why? How do you want to be remembered? Legend. All right. Today is Sunday, September 11th, 9-11, 2016. Um, I'm making this video in my bedroom. Currently, I am in... I'm a junior at Apopka High School. School so far is okay. Could be better if I had like more of my friends in my classes. My favorite song right now would probably be um, Really Really by Kevin Gates because it's lit. Um, the most memorable thing that's happened to me in the past few weeks is probably just going to football games with the band getting lit in the stands, halftime, performing, and all that. Um, what I'm looking forward to most in this year is probably just getting my license so I don't have to drive around with my parents and all that. Um, the hardest thing about this year is that I have more AP classes, so it's going to be like a lot more um, work for me to do with school advice I give myself for this year is to not slack off because I only have one more year left and to not let outside activities take over my schoolwork because grades in school comes first. Um, something that's made me laugh in the past few weeks is when I was working with my cousin and we were pulling out the parking lot at my mom's school and I seen this plank of wood in the road so I jumped out the car and I grabbed it really quick and I was thinking about what to do with it and so I just made actually like plank from Ed and Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie from Cartoon Network it's like a 90 show or whatever and me and my cousin like been switching off on who's gonna take care of it so it's that had me dying like a few weeks ago but yeah who told you crying was something? Girl, for free to stop venting. It's okay, I'm here to listen. <laughs> Alright, so this is my third video diary for this year. What are my plans for spring break? Um, I've already been oh my head's so I already been informed two days ago that I'm gonna be working all week. So it's gonna be boring. Um, have you had any conflicts with your teacher? If so what happened? Um, okay, so the only teacher I really got problems with is Mr. Avilis. He teach a he teach biology and the second medical course or whatever. But um I don't really got no problem with him. He just be talking to me. He he be getting slick sometimes and like I be having to get slick back with him. Like I'm all for I'm all for respecting your elders and stuff, but you not for talk you know, kinda way. Alright, if you could switch out of any class right now, which class would it be? Oh, I'd definitely switch out of AP Bio because that class is too hard. Um, it required too much time. From the beginning of the year, have you lost or gained any friends? I lost some because they, they fake. Okay. 
um what's the oldest photo on your phone the oldest picture on my phone is um it's a picture of my sister and the only reason i still got it is because it's her contact picture and it's actually cute so um what are your thoughts on the presidential election and the final results um i don't even know why this man is our president like we're all going to hell anyway so um what's your biggest re regret so far this school year um not gonna go into detail but my biggest regret is meeting certain people doing certain things um if you die right now how would you want to be remembered um just i don't know i'm, I'm gonna be remembered just that i'm like really funny pretty much that's all i got going for myself um, if you could describe your school year and what song, in a song, what would the song be? Ooh. Let me see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just say Low Life, I guess, by um, Future and The Weeknd. Alright, I'm in the hallway, my fourth period. <laughs> Let me see. What is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in class? Um, I just learned that these ain't shit. Every Orlando nigga ain't shit. And everybody's fake. So, I'd rather be a loner. Um, is there anyone at AHS that you would like to think and who and why? Um, probably just like my friends, sis. Keeping me entertained throughout the year, cause um, otherwise high school would be boring if you didn't talk to nobody. And how do you want to be remembered? I already know. I remember as that that dark skinned girl, that really funny girl, really short with no ass at all. But it's okay. I'm not, I'm not stressing over it. But I do want to go out with the bang. So maybe like my senior year, right before senior year's walk out, maybe I might, I might start something just so I could fight through and be like, oh yeah, that's that bitch that fought the last day when they about to graduate, who didn't get to walk across the stage, didn't get to get her diploma because she was fighting. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, so first session. Um, right now I'm in the performing arts hallway. This place is kind of memorable to me because I've been in band the past two years. I'll be in band, actually color guard next year, but like, Every Friday night, coming in this hallway, getting ready for a game, even after the games, leaving just football games pretty much. So I'm just out to me, band. It's pretty much it though. All right, so right now I'm at the cafeteria. Um, where will you be in 10 years? Hopefully I'll be out of college, graduating from FAMU. Um, maybe have at least to the most one child at the time and hopefully be with a significant other that I've been with for a long period of time and I have a good job and all that what was your best memory of the last year um, so this current year my best memories I have to go to just band because that's pretty much like football games sums it up going to the games every night and then like having a specific football player that you're just like looking out for the whole game that's pretty cool. All right. Um, what was the most memorable moment that happened in this class? Um, oh, it was kind of recent when um, Lexney and Janae was about to fight. Like, there was, Lexney said something slick, and then Lexney was like, nobody asked you for your opinion. And then Janae was like, who is she talking to? And they was really about to bump. <laughs> that was pretty funny, but yeah.